Sappiamo tutti che non esiste la famiglia perfetta e neppure il marito perfetto o la moglie perfetta. Non parliamo della suocera perfetta. Es perché l'amore quotidiano delle spose è il pane, il vero pane dell'anima, per andare avanti. È freddo, è duro, è più difficile fare la pace. Ricordate bene, mai finire la giornata senza fare la pace. Anche io Santa Marta. Gli anziani, gli sposi che fanno il cinquantesimo, io gli faccio la domanda, chi sopportò a chi? È, è bello quello, tutti, eh, tutti si guardano, mi guardano e dice, ma tutte e due. Um, in this God Shot, I'd like to talk with you about keeping a sense of humor. Um, is it something you got? Are you good at it? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it in other people? you enjoy it in yourself? It's one of our, I think, most special God-given gifts. Um, <clears throat> we know we are made by a God who has a sense of humor. How else do you explain all of us? Um, but it's really, really crucial in life to have and to maintain. Um, one of my best examples of this is I do a lot of retreats out in the Southwest, specifically New Mexico, not just there, but mostly there. And there's a town in New Mexico known as uh, Roswell. Roswell is most famously known for its visitation by space aliens back in the day. Um, but when you enter Roswell, it has a sign that says, welcome to Roswell, the dairy capital of the Southwest. And I think like that's, um, that's a pretty upfront way of saying our town smells like cow poop. Um, speaking of cow poop, there's another town not far from Roswell that is called Artesia. And Artesia has the cow smell, but also garbage dumps and oil refineries. In fact, there's an oil refinery smack in the middle of their town. Right on Main Street, there's a park, and, and right across the street is the oil refinery, which makes the air unbreathable. What I love about the people of Artesia is that they know they have this boring town where nothing ever happens, and it stinks. So, I mean, actually, honestly, I guess I prefer that they do something about it. It can't be good for their health, but if it's what they got to deal with and to have a sense of humor about it, uh, I just think is a good example of how it's important to keep a sense of humor about yourself in your life. You don't take yourself too seriously. It never ends up good for you. Okay. Always be willing to find the funny side of things and, and also the funny side of yourself. You know, it's not funny to just be the kind of person that, you know, is making fun of everybody, unless you also willing to take a joke and also willing to be the brunt of a joke yourself. Okay. So, go out there and cultivate that sense of humor. It's a God-given gift that not to be ignored and to be appreciated and enjoyed. Have some fun. God bless you.